okay guys now we are going to talk about the checkpoints in the cell cycle okay so the cell cycle checkpoints are really important during the cell division and uh, we know that checkpoints are uh, the system uh, inside the cell cycle which controls uh, the the con which controls uh, the how the cell is going to divide and uh, whether the cell is dividing properly or not if anything happens wrong during the course of cell division then this checkpoint will block the cell to pass through the cell division uh, point and uh, the cell will stall okay so that's why the presence of cell cycle is really important the checkpoint in the cell cycle is really important to prevent the the unwanted mutations and uh, problems that can be occur during the cell cell division because as we know cell division is a really really long elongated process which involves many different varieties of proteins and hard works and functioning so any there, there is a lots of different possibilities to damage the cell during the cell cycle but this all thing can be restricted uh, using uh, uh, restricted via the o cell's own machinery of cell cycle checkpoint assembly now let's look at in in most cells checkpoints in the cell cycle prevent a cell from entering into from one phase into events in the proceeding phase have not been completed at the g1 checkpoint uh, in the cell checks for the damaged dna arrest at the g1 checkpoint allows repair of the damaged dna to take place before the cell enters into the s phase so we normally have three major checkpoints one is g1 s checkpoint another one is the g2m checkpoint another one is the mitotic checkpoint which lies between the metaphase and anaphase Okay, so the first checkpoint, as we can see here, is is the G1S checkpoint. It will help the cell uh, to look for whether uh, the DNA is uh, properly made or not, whether the DNA contains any damage or not. If there is any kind of damage inside the DNA, then this checkpoint will block the cell to pass through this region or pass through this point. Okay. Now the S phase checkpoint provides the contribute uh, provides the continual uh, monitoring of the in. Uh, integrity of the DNA ensure that the damaged DNA is repaired before it is finally replicated because in the S phase the DNA sequence is being duplicated so before the duplication it checks for the whether what they are duplicating is perfect or not if anything wrong happens if anything they can denote any wrong thing then they'll stall uh, the pr phase here and they will go through the DNA repair systems or sometimes or sometimes they will go back to the earlier stage and cell will not divide okay uh, and the S phase checkpoint provides a quality control monitor to promote the repair of any errors that occur during the DNA replication, such as the incorporation of incorrect bases or in, in incorporation of rep uh, different uh, incomplete replication of segments of DNA. If everything is okay, then then DNA is pass uh, uh, DNA passes through the S phase and it will go there. Now a DNA damage checkpoint is there at G2 also leads to a cell cycle arrest in response to unreplicated or damaged DNA. So if at all the DNA is unreplicated or the portion of DNA is unreplicated or somehow damaged then this checkpoint prevents the initiation of mitosis until the DNA replication is completed. A mother checkpoint called the spindle assembly checkpoint uh, arrests the mitosis if uh, the chromosomes are not properly aligned on the mitotic spindle uh, and therefore not uh, organized for equal distribution in the daughter cell. So that presents there and this is called the mm, spindle assembly checkpoint and that is really really important because if the spindle assembly is not properly made then what happens this chromosome segregation will not be uh, possible in a proper manner as a result of improper chromosomal segregation some uh, 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 the daughter cell which is finally produced this one of the daughter cell is going to have a, a, a higher amount of chromosome number uh, in on the other hand the other daughter cell will have none so that will create the, uh, the asymmetry in the cell division but in the mitosis division we always care for the presence of same amount of chromosome same number of chromosome inside the daughter cell as well as they present in the mother cell okay so that's why this checkpoint is really really important now uh, these cell cycle checkpoints functions to ensure that the complete genomes are transmitted to the daughter cell that is actually ensuring uh, an insurance that is can that are provided by this cell cycle checkpoints and that th that is really really important during the cell cycle division so we have seen four major checkpoints here and first checkpoint denotes whether the dna is okay or not and it is ready for going to the s phase or not second checkpoint denotes whether there is a, any kind of mistake in the dna replication procedure or not the third 
third checkpoint is in the G2 checkpoint, which is, which again uh, look for the replication errors uh, that can be done due to the uh, rep cell replication or due to the intercourse of cell replication. And if anything uh, wrong happens during the cell replication, this in this G2 phase they will block the cell to pass through that phase and go through. Uh, it will go through the different regions of different uh, different uh, process of cell uh, cycle repair or DNA repair system. And right after that, it will uh, enter into the mother checkpoint, which is called the spindle assembly checkpoint. In this checkpoint, not only uh, uh, it it uh, it look for the chromosomes, but also it looks for the the microtubule which is made, which has been made, or the spindle which is which is produced. So the attachment of spindle to the chromosome is tightly monitored in this uh, in this phase, and after right after that, uh, the cell can only pass through this phase. So once a cell can pass through all the stages, then it can finally go through the cell cycle division. So so as we can look at this case in this scenario, that the, all of the steps are tightly controlled and very very finely monitored because in any single damage, any single defect in this checkpoint, uh, in in this checkpoint, will lead to the malfunctioning or uh, uh, production of uh, new daughter cells. But the actual goal of ours is to produce the same type of similar type of daughter cell from the mother cell. So that is the basic need, and that's how it's done. And I hope that's uh, that will help you to understand. Thank you.